Tom Nelson, owner of Nelson Racing Engines and Nelson Supercars. Lately, we've been getting a lot of email concerning that they, you guys didn't know that we actually do full car builds and uh, installs. So we made this video to, sh to show you what's going on uh, in the shop, some of the projects that we got going on, and uh, some of the cool things that we've been doing. So hope you enjoy it. So this is a 1991 Corvette ZR1 that we've done all sorts of special stuff to. Uh, we've ended up making our own 32 valve all billet small block for it. Uh, we've done a custom dash, all aluminum, fully caged it, uh, legal for Bonneville. It's got dual parachutes, uh, custom wiring, uh, basically all the craziness. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a fun project that you'll see on the videos uh, probably within a year or so. Right here we've got a 64 Chevelle that we're doing a complete drivetrain brakes cooling system with the twin turbo LS motor, 64 Chevelle. Did a full DSC suspension on it. So that's in the works right here. It's the 388 cubic inch LS motor twin turbo charge. 1300 horsepower. Twin intercooled using the factory hood latches. So we've got the uh, bare brakes that we put on it. Let's get the full DSC front suspension with the DSC spindles and the spline sway bar. It's got a uh, 4L85E computer controlled 4 speed automatic transmission. A really heavy duty converter. Built a custom dual exhaust. And uh, actually section the tranny tunnel here. So we're in the midst of sealing all that up. And then it's got the DSC rear suspension here. And we're making brake lines at the moment. 9 inch Ford. So it's a pretty nice little deal. Got the uh, electrically electric assisted uh, power brakes. Some of our stainless hard lines that we're running down on, on the chassis here. So here's another Chevelle we got in the shop. We're getting close to being done with uh, putting a twin turbo 509 hot rod series in this. Got custom inner fender wells that we made, and all the header work, radiator and intercooler work. Uh, just kind of a flashback to the F-bomb, but in a Chevelle almost. Uh, did the electrical, the brakes, cooling system, you know, basically everything running gear in it. Did a lot of work to go, but pretty nice. 1870 horsepower this one made. Got a two speed power glide, dual injector per cylinder, dual blow offs, dual intercoolers, all stainless hard line. Greg Sobex. 1974 Pantera uh, will be uh, twin turbocharged, uh, you know, all electronic and just updated. Uh, we're doing full restoration on it. Uh, all the rust repair, suspension, rebuild the transaxle, wiring, painting it, uh, you know, complete. So this will be a pretty neat little car when it's all done. Gotta love these cars. So aggressive looking. So this is the 2010 Nelson Supercar Camaro that we're working on right now. Doing quite a bit of mods to this sucker. Give you an idea, we've got a roll cage that we built here. Certified to 850. It's got removable door bars. Tied it in everywhere into the chassis. Uh, we're making a steel firewall right here, so it's legal. Uh, we've got some fuel cells in the back, so you've got to make sure that all the there's going to be no fuel getting into the engine or into the uh, passenger compartment. We made uh, dual fuel cells, one for race gas, one for pump gas. Uh, you can see inside of here we've got an Aeromotive A1000, which runs primary injectors. And then 
This is the Eliminator, which runs your secondary injector. It's a 16 injector system for the car. And also, so there's no fuel vapors when you fill it up, we've transferred that to the stock gas tank. If you look, we've got regular pump gas going into this one, and then race gas goes into the upper one, so you can fill both pump and race through the stock filler. 1600 horsepower. This thing's gonna be a, a slick ride. So here's the Avalanche. For those of you who haven't seen the Avalanche, we took the Del Taco here. Right now what we're doing is we're doing electronically controlled boost. So what we've done is we've put the side panel off here and we mounted a little air compressor. Uh, that way we can run compressed air to the back side of the waste gates. Show you what, how we've done that. So we've got little electronic solenoids on the waste gates. And those solenoids control how much pressure gets applied to the top side of the gate. And you can control the actual boost electronically from inside of the car with that. So you've got a little uh, boost gauge. boost and you can adjust your boost. 1700 horse sequentially shifted. Got the dry sump system all mounted uh, inside of the fender. Just kind of an overview shot of the motor there. So here's a 1964 Cadillac Coupe de Ville that we're working on at one of our supercars. Still in uh, pretty early stages but it's Got quite a bit done. We built a custom uh, three-link rear suspension for it. Uh, airbagged it all the way around with air ride controls. Put a uh, 572 cubic inch 1471 blown big block Chevy in it, which is just laying in there right now. Uh, did some of the engine metal work. Put dual radiators in it. Uh, Ron Davis make us some custom dual radiators. Did a whole custom uh, hood latch assembly to fit all of that. Uh, we're starting to suicide the doors right now. Kind of cool how we patched it all back in like stock. It's got some pretty burly uh, suicide set up in there. And we caged it all kind of hidden cage work inside of here. You kind of see a lot of the cage in here. So we're in the beginnings of the suicide doors here, but it's kind of cool. We're making that set up there. There's some more. This is, those are the air tanks for the uh, airbag system. Got dual batteries in boxes. Again, all of this is just real rough because it's all under fabrication, but give you an idea of some of the stuff that we're doing with it. That's the air ride control. Uh, press uh, ride height one, Larry. So there's right height one, that's, you know, kind of a badass, sinister looking right height. And then just press number two if you want to kind of get over speed bumps or whatever. You know, you can get over speed bumps. Automatic leveling, so it levels itself. So here's a C3 Corvette. Uh, we've twin turbocharged, twin, uh, you know, big intercooler, octane on demand. 1750 horsepower this up in May. So this is a 2008 Infiniti uh, V37 uh, that we're twin turboing right now. So here's a Galaxy that was brought into us, you know, just a fun little hot rod. Again, nothing, not like a super show car, but just a guy that loves his car, loves him, just enjoy it. So we uh, built him a 440 inch FE doing the install on that. Had a custom radiator made for it and fabbed up a air enclosure. You know, uh, custom seed metal intake. And we're in the process of making this happen for him right now. So it's a nice little 500 horse, uh, you know, ratty sounding uh, FE. Now over here is the Supercar 04. We're actually putting a proprietary new intercooler in it and uh, we're changing the hood latches to an aero latch. This is a really cool deal, 2,000 horsepower, 
six speed, all black, all leather. Really good in car. And here's a shot of Gary Hoffman's Chevelle that we're mocking up a uh, motor. It's 800 cubic inch motor here. Getting started on a, on a turbo install for this sucker. It's gonna be one wild, crazy deal. So this is the GTO where it sits right now in, in the process of the building. 